happens. Or put the background noise, but obviously you can tell you have an issue. <laughs> Shower won't turn off. See if you kind of mess with it. This is a mowing faucet, shower faucet, obviously. Um, it's really intermittent. Yeah, sometimes it turns off, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you gotta mess with it, fiddle around with it. It feels like it's a little loose in there. Yeah, sorry, it's kind of a messy shower, but. So I bought a, a new kit, like a new seal kit. Um, looks like it was pretty easy to install. Lots of videos on it. But yeah, for my case, I just my water won't turn off. So sometimes it'll drip all night long. I, I can't figure out where to go. Like I said, it's just an intermittent. Alright. So that's totally off right there. Alright. So, sometimes if you wiggle it, it kind of goes off, up like that. See? Mess it's just it's really intermittent so yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to replace it so I'm gonna give my little shop Jimmy tool in there pop that off and hopefully I should be able to pull this forward hey, maybe I'll ultrasound to clean the handle when I have off it's looking kind of gross okay so it looks like a Phillips yeah, I'm going to do this two hands Alright, so I don't think I need to take those off, but this just comes right off. Okay, I think it's this metal thing off here. Okay, it's kind of like that. There we go. Well, I got a bunch of spiders in there, ants in there, all kinds of stuff in there. Um, so yeah, I gotta pull this clip up, and then I need to kind of like wiggle that loose. Before I do that, I gotta turn the water off. Now, I know this drain is really old, the, the main shut off of the house, and the problem is, is it doesn't turn the water all the way. So I'm gonna turn this on, because this is the lowest faucet in the house, and that will relieve pressure of the pipes, because water wants to go to the lowest, you know, gravity, we'll feed it out, okay? See? All right. All right, so before I do that, you see the age in the sea? Well, the H is obviously for hot. T is for cold, and that's the direction. So now you can really see the ant. Wow. Did I find the ant colony? <laughs> I don't know. I made another video with my ant problem. So I'm going to spray a little, uh, just to kind of loop everything up. A little bit of my uh, PB blaster here. Okay. Just to loosen up the seal a little bit, you know. And then uh, this tool that came with the device is for. Uh, Get it off there. There, that's the pin. All right, so that's the tool that came with it. So that actually helps it uh, go on here, and you can, it allows you to twist it like that. Like at least free it up, because now that I have the the pin removed, I should be able to free it up. Yeah, I think I must have figured out what the ant calling was. Um, that's ant spray raid, but I'm gonna spray it all up in there. I never had this part open. Alright, now that I have it on there, I'm gonna try to break this a little free a little bit. You gotta be all of this plastic, so um, this needs to pull out. And this is sort of like to free a little bit. I guess I do have pullers. I guess you could kind of go like here. It's got to be gentle with it because I mean, if I break the pipes behind it, then I'm busting that wall open. All right, so I wiggle it back and forth like that, just to kind of like break it, you know, just break it free a little bit, right? Just kind of get it going, wiggled. I think I'm gonna run a wire brush in there just to clean up any sort of like uh, corrosion. That way these seals are a nice, good, clean surface. 
Okay, so actually this is an engine rebuilding brush, but I just want to make sure everything's get all that corrosion out of there so the seal will sit flatly and good. Yeah, you know, just getting like the hard water, calcium lime off of there. Alright, I'm gonna wipe it down with my towel here. Oh get in there. Do you wanna get paper in there? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, just make sure it's all clean in there. Get as much out as I can. It looks pretty good. I'll get my flashlight in there too. This kit actually came with a little bit of lubricant. And so you want to lubricate all the rubber seals, like any, anything, on any automotive application, anything rubber, you typically want to lubricate. Because if you don't lubricate it, it could tear the seals, it could rip them. And you want to have a dry, too dry surface, this wants to stick. So you're doing this to protect the seal and prevent anything from sticking. So we'll go back in there nice and easy. I coated the uh, part, all the rubber seals, with uh, the, the silicone uh, sealant, but I'm also going to have some of my finger and I'm going to just try to get as much of that metal as I can, you know? I mean, the more you get out of there, the easier it's going to be put it put in there. Because you don't want that rubber to stick on the metal, or you're not going to get it in there. It's going to want to tear that seal. All right. Make sure the hot and cold is the right orientation. You're just going to slip it back in there, like that, <clears throat> like that. Then I'm going to pop that pin in here. Make sure you have that pin held good, because if you lose this pin in the wall, you're you're done. You have to buy a new pin. So you're not going to be able to fix that out. Alright, so at this point I should be able to, uh, be able to turn the water back on and uh, test it out. Yeah, I want to test it before I put the whole thing back together. So I'm going to turn the water back on and just grab the handle and, and uh, put it on there temporary. Okay, so when I came back in, the water was on. Yeah, you need to have the, uh, this actually acts as a stopper, so you have to have that, the, the metal thing back in there, the, uh, part. So, but I think that's a success. I mean, the water stopped. But the, what I was trying to explain is that the, the, the metal piece that goes in here, it actually acts as a stopper against that right there. Alright, so I'm going to clean up all the parts that I'm never here, you know, I'm an ultrasonic, clean these things. Get them all clean and uh, be back. Put it back together. I'm gonna lightly drop this in my bathroom. Alright, so you don't want to buff it so hard we take the uh, chrome plating off. Um, so I'm gonna go back with this with my steel wool, very fine steel wool, and polish it out. Ultrasound cleaner. Yeah, probably not going to get all that off because it's actually inside the, the, you know, it's like inside like the, the whole thing is just screwed up here. Yeah, so let me show you, it is orientation, that, this is the clocking ring, and so if your clocking wasn't right, you could just do it, but mine was the fault, which is good already, so. Won't go that way, but I can go that way, see? That turns off. Alright, put the washer back on. Put that on. Yeah, so if you're ever down here, you should clean it as much as you possibly can. I mean, mine's not perfect. Like, it looks like it had some, some kind of, like, a lie on it or something. Awesome. All right, cool.